Nearly half of Australians have given up. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because when I saw this article I thought we have to have a look at this one. Almost 50% of Australians have lost motivation to save or invest. Now, why could that be? Could that be because of the huge crypto crash that we're seeing? Maybe, you know, have people lost a lot of money or have they invested in stocks and they've gone down, they've been burnt out? I mean, if your dollar cost, well, it comes down to your investment strategy. If your dollar cost averaging over the long term uh, you know, and you've got a diversity of um, investments, you should be okay if, if that's the strategy you're doing. Or, but if they're going all in, maybe on penny stocks or on crypto, I can understand how you'd lose your motivation. So let, let's look at this because this is wor- worrying. P- you want people to save and invest so they can build up passive income so then they can have more freedom. Almost half of people surveyed about their finances said they have lost their motivation to save, invest, or increase their in- increase their income. A survey of 1,010 Australian adults commissioned by Australian finance platform and comparison website money.com.au found that 44% of respondents had lost motivation when it came to building wealth. The report also revealed that 59% believe inflation will not be controlled in Australia and won't return to its average 3% growth rate. Overall, 23% were less motivated to invest, 21% less motivated to save, and 11% don't feel motivated to earn more at work. I mean, is that just because they've got enough money and they don't need to? Or is it because they've, they've given up? The whole, oh, it's, you know, the whole negative spiral you're falling. No, oh, I'm never going to afford a house. It's not impossible. Negative, 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 give up. Quite quitting, just give up even trying on life. Is that what we're seeing here? I hope not, because it's rather pathetic and sad. A higher proportion of young Australians have lost their motivation to build wealth, with 53% of respondents under 30 admitting they don't feel motivated to invest, save, or earn more at work, compared with 46% of 31 to 50-year-olds and 37% of over 50s. So they just don't care. I mean, money is not everything. It's, it's not, it shouldn't be the most important thing in your life. Uh, because really, you know, once you get a certain point where you're comfortable, it's fine. You, 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 there's other things that bring more happiness and joy. But you want to at least build up enough so you kind of don't have to work. I, isn't that the goal? That you've got enough at least, you know, emergency money coming in. If, if it all goes to shits, you've got a stream of income that isn't dependent on you working. It, am I just older than that? Have I been watching too much Dave Ramsey, guys? Money.com.au financial advisor Helen Baker said this com- uh, complacency could put many people at risk of falling behind the rest of the population. Maybe they've just given up. Maybe, maybe it's the whole housing is impossible, so it's hopeless, so I, I surrender. It is concerning that such a high percentage of the population have become complacent over building wealth, Baker said. Unfortunately, the risk with complacency is they will form a habit to not save or invest, and it can be difficult to get out of this mindset. Individuals will also fall behind on their financial goals as a result. The longer savings and assets fail to grow, the harder it will be to catch up. Baker said it was surprising to see that younger individuals weren't focused on building their wealth. We need to teach, young people need to learn about the FIRE movement, financially, financial independence, retire early. They also risk falling behind those who are and who will likely have better opportunities and funds for the future, such as for their retirement. In contrast, the return of immigration and more comp- a more competitive job market will prom- prove challenging for those who have lost their motivation. Baker said Australians shared growing concerns that inflation would not be controlled in Australia. Well, shipping costs have tanked. They've really gone down. So we're going to start to see that being that inflation will hopefully go get better. My big concern for long-term inflation here in Australia is our push away from cheap and reliable base load power generation to you know disposable renewable technology that requires uh, additional backup solutions, which are going to be costly as well. That, that's what's got me worried. Uh, similar proportions of respondents across all age groups and states and territories don't believe the government RBA will control inflation to normal rates. Well, they can't really. 
they, they know it'll it'll get to normal rates over time. 61% of under 30s and 58% of over 30s do not think inflation will be controlled. Meanwhile, across the state, 66% of West Australians and 63% of Queenslands and 60% of Victorians indicate the same. Baker said money.com.au also asked survey respondents if they had increased or decreased their spending in 22, with the results finding 35% had decreased spending this year. We found 44% have maintained their spending, with older Australians in particular decreasing their spending compared with 35% of 31-year-old to 50-year-olds and 25% of under 30s, she said. This echoes recent data which found household spending had slowed in September by decreasing 0.5%, the first fall to occur since April when interest rates began increasing. Baker said while it could take several months for rate rises to, tr- uh, to trickle into an individual spending, it was clear the increases to the cash rate earlier this year, combined with inflation, had led many to rethink their spending. The RBA's 0.25% cash rate increase in October and November have sent a, a clue to the population that they may not be able to control inflation or that inflationary pressure period will last years. Experts predict that inflation will peak to 7.75% in December 2022 quarter, but that depends on what you spend your money on. I anticipate some households will increase their spending in the last two months of the year, and it is possible we will see a more pronounced decline early next year. Well, guys, well, let, let's let's talk about this one. I mean, just because you think inflation won't be controlled doesn't mean you need to ignore building up your investments and your ability to earn passive income and savings, even if it's just a small little bit that you're trickling in. But it's just, it's kind of sad. If people have given up, well, they're going to be left behind. I mean, what, what have you done, guys? I, I honestly think the biggest issue is uh, to many people, particularly young people, they went hard in crypto. They put a lot in crypto. They hoped that crypto would be the next big thing and that they'd make money in it. It's, it's so much of it's just garbage, guys. Honestly, it really is. This is sad. This is bad news. If you've got a generation of Australians that have given up on building their, their wealth, well, it just means Australia is going to get, we're never going to get rid of the pension. It's going to get worse. It means taxes are going to increase. What do you reckon? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Have you given up or are you still fighting to build up your wealth? As always, thanks for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International. And if you want to support us, you can financially on YouTube or Patreon using our referral links, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.